Many people know Fed Square for its modern design and bold aesthetic. But few people know what lies beneath their feet. Hidden from view lies a vast underground maze that sits at the core of the square's sustainable focus. Yet this forward-thinking design draws much of its inspiration from techniques as old as the Roman Empire. This is the story of Fed Square's labyrinth. The labyrinth is an underground tunnel built to act as a passive heating and cooling system for Fed Square in what is called a thermal mass labyrinth. Thermal mass labyrinths have been used for centuries to control temperature by directing airflow through elaborate underground mazes. The labyrinth in Fed Square consists of hundreds of concrete walls spaced barely 60 centimetres apart. Each wall is constructed in a zigzag in order to maximise surface area as they wind their way around the 1.4 kilometre maze. So take our hot summer Melbourne nights as an example. Cool night air is received off the Yarra River and is pumped through the labyrinth via fans. The warm concrete slabs then lose their heat energy to this cool air. The next day, during hot afternoons, the hot air from outside is gently pumped through the labyrinth and as it twists and turns through the 1.4 kilometre maze, the air is cooled as it comes into contact with the chilled concrete walls. It's then released into Fed Square through wooden slots in the ground of the atrium. In peak summer conditions, the labyrinth is capable of delivering air up to 12 degrees below temperature outside, using only one-tenth of the energy consumption and generating less than one-tenth of the CO2 emissions. If the forecast is much cooler, say in the middle of winter, the surface area of the concrete will naturally be warmer than it is outside. As cold winter air is pumped into the labyrinth, the surface temperature of the concrete then loses its heat energy and warms the air. That warm air is then pumped into Fed Square, sometimes reaching seven degrees warmer than it is outside. Despite being a massive glass structure, the atrium has various vents in the ceiling ensuring there is no build-up of hot air. This reduces the natural heating effect of the sun on the interior of the space. But Fed Square's sustainability initiatives reach far beyond our underground labyrinth. High above ground, solar panels sit on the roof level, generating 30 megawatt hours of power per year. While 88 water tanks and other water saving initiatives collect almost 18 million litres of rainwater that is used in Fed Square's bathrooms. That's over seven Olympic swimming pools worth of water saved each year. As a part of Melbourne's renewable energy project, Fed Square has helped develop a wind farm near Ararat to ensure renewable energy for the foreseeable future. In conjunction with this, Fed Square is also involved with the Greener Government Buildings Program, which provides cleaner electricity to the site via a gas-fired generator. Long-term environmental responsibility initiatives such as these are overseen by the Sustainability Action Committee, a volunteer group led by Fed Square employees. Together they developed the Sustainable Events Guide, which helps venue hirers run more sustainable events. This all culminates in Sustainable September, a month-long festival event each year where we celebrate all things that are sustainable. Fed Square's commitment to environmental initiatives have resulted in the site being declared a carbon neutral precinct. This is in no small part thanks to the inspiring people behind the design, the construction and the operations of this incredible precinct.